What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we are back with another video. And we have 10 questions that we're going to answer for you right after this. We have been challenged for the uh, 10 questions about um, RVing from um, Mark's Adventures for Mark and Michelle. So we we're getting ready to uh, answer these questions. All right. So we're going to start off with the first question. I'm going to ask the question. You answer, then I'll answer the question after you. Okay. All right. Yep. So uh, the first question is, what would you change in your RV? What would it, you change? It would be to have a half bath. We have a lot of people that camp, and then rather than waiting, they walk down to the um, bathhouse. So that's what I would change. Okay. Um, what would you change? What I would change is actually something that we've already changed, and that is the tires. Ah, yeah, that was worrying you. I yeah, remember that. It was worrying me a lot. Um, of course, if you RV, you know that fifth wheels and travel trailers come with Westlake tires that are just a 10 ply and are not very good tires. And we did upgrade ours to a 14 ply um, um, G rated tire. So that's something that I wanted to change and I changed it quickly. Okay. We, we purchased it in November mm -hmm. and we changed out the tires in January. And he worried me to death till we got those tires changed, believe me. Yep. <laughs> All right, so the next question is, uh, what is something that you didn't expect about or expect with your RV? The one thing I didn't expect was how friendly all the people are when you go to the campgrounds. Hmm. Yeah, that's you know, true. Um, the, the, the camaraderie, uh, everyone's always willing to help you mm -hmm. with something, especially if something breaks down or something goes wrong. That's something I just did not expect. That That is very true. And I, I gotta say, I honestly didn't expect that either. Um, but every campground we've been to, people have been um, very friendly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very friendly. So um, mine, what I didn't expect is, I didn't expect to enjoy it, not gonna lie. I was not <laughs> thrilled about camping at all. I'm like, holy crap, we're getting ready to do this. But it's actually very relaxing and I just wish I started it sooner. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so we're on to question three. Yes. All right. All right, so question three is, what was the deciding factor in finding our RV? And let's talk about the one we have now. Okay. Uh, the deciding factor is that you found it and loved it and you took me to go see it and then I found it, loved it, and that was it. And it um, it was very much like home on the inside. So mm. that was mine. What was yours? Uh, the deciding factor in finding our RV was a couple of things. One, it was local. Yeah. We could find it locally. And two, the fact that it, it it is a grand design RV. One of the best companies out there that you can purchase from. This is true. This yep. is true. Okay. Um, question oh, four? Yeah, question four. Uh, favorite meal to cook at the campground? My favorite meal to cook at the campground. I don't cook as much as Kim does. She does most of the cooking, but since we purchased our Blackstone Grill, my favorite thing to cook with is cheesesteaks and chicken cheesesteaks on the Blackstone Grill. <laughs> Lord, they are good too. That's yeah. yeah, that was a good one. They're delicious. Oh, thank you. And he would say that now that we're vegans for the month of March, so he had to mention <laughs> cheesesteaks that <didn't> day. <laughs> My favorite thing to cook, I actually have two. I like a shrimp and grits for breakfast mm. and pulled barbecue chicken for dinner. All right. Those are my two. So for those of you out there who know us, for those of you have, who have camped with us, she makes the best shrimp and grits <laughs> I've ever tasted in my life. And I'm not just saying that because that's my wife. And I love it. But I have never had grits taste as good as hers. She's got some secret ingredient, I guess. Um, 
never tell. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, her shrimp and grits are great. Thank you. All right. All right, moving on to question number five, right? Mm -hmm. Um. RV destination that I would want to go to or that we would want to go to. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, I can't remember the name of this RV campground, but they have, have one in Tennessee and they have one in Florida. And they are luxury uh, sites, padded, concrete. They come with outdoor kitchens, tiki huts. Um, and it looks like a really nice place to camp. It's right on a lake, uh, and I can't remember the name of this location. We might have to research that. We're gonna research it, and I will put it in the description down below. Mine would be Vegas, baby. <laughs> I love Vegas. Honestly, it's his fault. He took me there one time for a surprise. And then we went back, like, he'd ask me every year, where do you want to go? And like three other years after that, I said Vegas, till he finally said, we're not going there no more. <laughs> so that would be me. It would be, it would be to, to go, go to, to Vegas. Drive out to Vegas. Drive out to Vegas. All right, nice. Yep. You might be able to do that one day. Exactly, you have to retire though. Can't get off work that long. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right, question number six. six. Your favorite thing about RVing. My favorite thing about RVing is being in the outdoors. Um, even if it's chilly outside, I just love to sit outside, have my adult beverage, mm -hmm. maybe put up a fire, <laughs> listen to my music, and even if nobody's out there with me, I just enjoy being outside and, and, and enjoying myself. He's outside. right, because I ain't gonna be out there if it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I'll go in quick. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I still right. enjoy it. He sure does too. He comes in all late, mm -hmm. 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm not about that life. I need to be warm. <laughs> I'll sit, I'll turn on the fireplace on the inside and cover up and watch TV. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, my favorite thing is just to get away from everything and I actually get a full night's sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys don't know this, but you did, you've you seen the little dog that's down on the floor with her little needy self. I pick her up, she barks, even when we're trying to do the video. You see right now, we have her put some away. Someplace else. Yeah, someplace else, so she can't do that. But she wakes me up several times in the middle of the night. Get on the bed, off the bed, on the bed, off the bed. But when we're camping, it's like she's even relaxed. She just spreads out, and then she doesn't, um, she sleeps all night, which means I sleep all night. Yep. So that's my favorite thing. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a real good one. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on to number seven, right? Yeah. Okay. Least favorite thing about RVing? Yes. We didn't just answer that. No. Okay. We, we just did the favorite thing about RVing. Okay. Now this okay. is the least favorite thing right. about RVing. All right. So my the least favorite thing about RVing, I would say, is something regional and that is the fact that we can't camp in the winter time mm, that is the truth <laughs> that's a good one i didn't think about that that's my least favorite thing because we love this lifestyle so much we would do it every weekend all year round if we could but where, where we are located a lot of campgrounds are closed during the winter time so we can't camp then that's a very good one i don't know if i can top that one so your least favorite thing? I'm afraid it wasn't what I was going to say because mine was, you know, breakdowns. Oh, yeah. But now that you said that, I think I like yours better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to number eight. All right, must have on your next RV. That's an easy one. What's that? My must have on the next RV would be full body paint. I just think a fifth wheel looks awesome with a full body paint job. It, it just looks pristine. It looks um, high end. It does. Now, if you've seen our video we did about the Alliance RV, the Paradigm 370 FB, we're really into that RV <laughs> that, that, and that company, and I'm not sure if they'll have full body paint, but hopefully in the future they will. And if they do, it's on. <laughs> 
So that's mine, full body paint. Okay, mine would be, that's like question number one, it would actually be um, half bath. I would really like to have a half bath. I'm not sure how that would work with a mid bunk, and a loft, can't have everything. Mm. But I would like to have a half bath in the next one. Half bath, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. That's a good one. Yep. All right, moving on to question number nine. Uh, my favorite beverage. Well, your favorite beverage. What's your favorite beverage? Water. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Malibu rum and pineapple juice is my favorite beverage. Beverage. Yep. Okay. And for those of you out there who know me. Tequila. Tequila is my favorite <laughs> beverage. I just felt like did. And then my second, <laughs> my second favorite beverage is any type of cognac. Yeah. Now, we're talking alcohol, alcoholic beverage. Now, non-alcoholic, mine really is water. I love an ice cold glass of water. Mine is water too. Mixed with lemonade, some sort of tea packet, <laughs> some sort of punch packet. It's mine too. <laughs> Good one. All right, so the next question is number 10, your favorite RV accessory. Oh yeah. Favorite RV accessory for me is our uh, hardwired surge protector that we put inside. Um, we had we were on our second RV and we had gone through two portable surge protectors in two years. So we decided to go ahead and do a hardwired install surge protector and it's worked flawlessly so far. Knock on wood. He so. would have to knock on my chair, wouldn't he? <laughs> so that's my favorite accessory. How about you? My favorite accessory is you guys know I'm five foot, so I got little legs. So it's the steps. The steps would be my favorite. I don't like to have the, the steps going into the, the step RV. Go, sorry, the mm -hmm. steps going into the RV. Gotcha. Because sometimes some of the steps are so high, you literally have to. I gotta lift up these little legs and try to, and especially if I've had too much water, <laughs> <laughs> that might be an issue. Just saying. Good one. <laughs> All right, everybody, those are our 10 questions that we answered. So now it's up to us to tag someone and challenge them. So what we're going to do is we're going to challenge two different uh, groups of people. We're going to go with a small channel and then we're going to try and tag a larger channel. So the small channel that I would like to tag and challenge for the 10 question challenge is Traveling Trekkies, Roni and Michelle, I challenge you to do a video about your 10, answering the 10 RV questions. How about you, Kim? Okay, I would do the uh, RV Odd Couple. Good one, RV Odd Couple. Yeah, I don't think they've done uh, a challenge yet. Okay. I know they're going through some things right now, a little difficult, um, but we will reach out to them and ask if they would be willing to do the challenge along, you know, with us. And maybe it'll give them a little uh, comfort and get away from the things that they're going through right now. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, John and Mercedes, you see this video and you will participate and take our challenge for the 10 RV questions. All right. So that does it for this week's video. And thank you again, uh, Mark and Michelle, for tagging us, because these were uh, great questions. I like it. It actually made me think about what I really liked and disliked. So thank you. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. So moving on, as normal, we would hope that you would hit that thumbs up. Like and subscribe like if you have not already and done so. Subscribe. We've got thank a big you. bump in a lot of subscribers this past month, right? I know, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, so we want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed to our channel within the last 28 days. It's really been great. You're helping us out a lot. Yes, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna move right along in this video. And as usual, we just want to say, here's hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Can you hear the washing machine?